We began tonight with a political battle over bringing troops home from Iraq. We end with a personal crusade to keep troops there connected to their families here. Kelly Wallace found all it took was two kids with one big idea and the American spirit. I was the only one in my class that had a mobile. Really? Mm-hmm. Pretty soon you're going to be smarter than me. For a seven-year-old missing his daddy and a father thousands of miles away at war, a phone call is not just a chance to catch up. It is the only way to cope. It helps you that much. Anytime if it gets a little wild out here, it brings me right back down to reality. Sergeant Chuck Beeland can call home for free as often as he wants. Of. Uh, <laughs> all because of two kids from suburban Boston, 15-year-old Robbie Burquist and his sister Brittany, who's 16. Their unlikely story begins three years ago. Well, a Natick soldier stationed in Iraq is paying the price for using a cell phone to call home. When they heard news reports about a soldier with an $8,000 phone bill. Brittany and I um, jumped into action. We thought this isn't right. They organized raffles and car washes to pay off the soldier's bill and then came up with this clever idea. Collect donations of used cell phones, recycle them for cash, they get an average of $5 for each phone, and use the money to buy phone cards for the troops. That's how Cell Phones for Soldiers was born. Just being able to speak for five minutes is the greatest gift you can get. And we love that we're able to actually do that for people all across the country. It's kind of like a breakthrough for kids to know that kids can make a difference in the world. The bus is going to be coming, so we don't want to miss it. Look at the difference just one phone call makes for someone like Jake's mom. My first reaction is a sigh of relief, like, oh, okay, he's okay, he's okay, you know, because you never want to, um... Never want to have to tell your son something's happened to his daddy. And I don't think they have a word in the dictionary to uh, explain how much it means to me. You get the sense these kids don't quite realize Bye, Dad. just how much they've done. Bye, buddy. You take care of yourself. I love you. I love you, too. Okay. Kelly Wallace, CBS News, Hudson, Massachusetts.